Hey guys, Spider here. In this video, we're going to show you how to get a two Blundergats. Well, technically, it won't be two Blundergats, but it'll be variations of the Blundergats. Uh, what we got to do first here, and you can do this, I'm just confirming some stuff over Twitter about the, uh, the Blue Skulls. Uh, you can't see them in Afterlife, I believe, until after your first plane flight over to the Golden Gate Bridge. But you should be able to collect them. So we're going to collect the five blue skulls. You can do this at any time. And that first one is in the Warden's office. Obviously, you need, <laughs> you need to have Hell's Retriever to do this. The uh, second skull across from the spawn, across from the library in that jail cell. The third skull is going to be on the docks right, right there. Number four is uh, just above Jug. Again, the easiest way to get this is uh, just have somebody activate the gondola or call the gondola when you're at the bottom and you're going to take it right off the top of that lamp post. And the last skull is going to be on the rooftop right there. Now, once you have collected all five skulls, you've unlocked the Blundergat that appears in the Warden's office on his desk. If you don't already have the Blundergat, you don't want to pick that up because I'm pretty sure, and I haven't 100% verified this, but I'm pretty sure once you have picked it up off the Warden's desk, you won't be able to get it in the box uh, because they only want one available to any of the players. So what we're going to do is just keep hitting the box until you get a Blundergat. And we happen to get the Blundergat on this pull of the box right there. Okay, now, there, there, I mean, there are so many variations to this. I was trying to verify on Twitter uh, what would happen if you just have a regular Blundergat and you pick up the regular Blundergat off the warden's, uh, warden's desk. I heard rumors that it would just, you just still have the one. It might reload your ammo. So what you're going to do, what you want to do, because there are four variations of the Blundergat, You've got the regular Blundergat, you've got the Acid Gat, you've got the Sweeper, which is a regular upgraded Blundergat, and you have the Vitriolic Withering, which is uh, the upgraded Blundergat with Acid. So I'm going to uh, not only upgrade the regular Blundergat to the Acid Gat, I'm also going to pa pack a punch it to the Vitriolic Withering. So all we're doing here is ensuring that we have a different type of Blundergat before we collect the regular Blundergat off the Warden's desk. And that's going to ensure that we have, in fact, two Blundergats, or variations thereof. So here we go, we're going to pick it up off the Warden's desk right now. Yeah, there's the regular Blundergat. Sweet. And then we're going to switch over to the Vitriolic Withering here in a second, just to show that we have two... In fact, two Blundergats. There we go. See? Nice! That's pretty cool. So I think, uh, again, if you pick up the Blundergat off the Warden's desk without any other players having pulled the Blundergat out of the box, you may not be able to pull one out of the box after that. So um, either, you know, you have two players, and, and ideally you want two different players to have the Blundergat so they can both upgrade it to the Vitriolic Withering because it's, it's a pretty damn good gun. Uh, but... Just wanted to show that you can, in fact, have one player. And this can be, you know, again, if you're playing on solo, you can have two Blundergats, the Vitriolic Withering. And I would suggest just upgrading upgrading the Blundergat to the Sweeper because it's it's a pretty decent gun. I mean, it's not going to, you know, attract and, and explode on a, on a bunch of zombies, but it's a, a pretty fantastic and, and powerful gun in and of itself. That's it, guys. Enjoy your two Blundergats on Mob of the Dead. I'm Spider and I'm out.